Good evening. Welcome to this service of Compline. Today, the Tuesday, the 17th of January, we commemorate Wolfston, who was Bishop of Wolf Worcester in the 11th century. Wolfston was educated in monasteries in Peterborough and Evesham and became a Benedictine monk after refusing the offer of a richly endowed parish on the occasion of his ordination. And he settled at the small monastic community at Worcester Cathedral in 1050, later becoming prior and then bishop in 1062. He was a, a, a vigilant bishop and an active bishop. He became fully involved in the revitalization of the monasteries in the second half of the 11th century and was very involved in monastic reform and the establishment of canons of the canons of the Church of England, which we, which we still, um, well, the canons of the Church that we still have today in the Church of England. He was the first bishop to pay homage to the William the Conqueror after the Battle of Hastings, and he remained one of the few Saxons to keep his high office to the end of William's reign. William was, Wil Wolfston was one of the most important church leaders of the 11th century and the most renowned intellectual figure of the late Saxon period. He was a powerful preacher, a mainstay of monastic reform, and one of the most commanding fig figures of the monastic intellectual revival, having a great ability to explain the teaching of the church. It was this ability to explain and challenge that saw abolition of the slave trade between Worcester Diocese and Ireland then under Viking rule, as Wollstone persuaded the traders of Bristol of the sanctity of life and the human rights to freedom in the 11th century. According to tradition, St. Wollstone died during his daily ritual of washing the feet of 12 of his parishioners. So we commemorate the fathers of the church through the ages. So let's have a moment of silence. Lord Almighty, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. And the ancient evening hymn that dates back to the Middle Age Ages. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised from life, 
to life from death. Amen. And the words of Psalm 16. Preserve me, O God, for in you have I taken refuge. I have said to the Lord, You are my Lord, all my good depends on you. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble in heart. Though the idols are legion that many run after, their drink offerings of blood I will not offer neither make mention of their names upon my lips. The Lord himself is my portion and my cup. In your hands alone is my fortune. My share has fallen in a fair land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. And in the night watches he instructs my heart. I have set the Lord always before me. He is at my right hand, I shall not fall. Wherefore my heart is glad and my spirit rejoices, my flesh also shall rest secure. For you will not abandon my soul to death, nor suffer your faithful one to see the pit. You will show me the path of life, in your presence is the fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures for evermore. Give to us, Lord Christ, the fullness of grace, your presence and your very self, for you are our portion and our delight, now and forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. And so reading for set for this evening from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 24, verses 1 to 14. As Jesus came out of the temple and was going away, his disciples came to point out to him the buildings of the temple. Then he asked them, You see all these you do not. Truly I tell you, not one stone will be left here upon another. All will be thrown down. When he was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when will this be? And what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? Jesus answered them, Beware that no one leads you astray. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Messiah, and they will lead many astray. And you will hear of wars and rumours of wars. See that you are not alarmed, for this must take place. But the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places, all this is but the beginnings of the birth pangs. Then they will hand you over to be tortured and will put you to death, and you'll be hated by all nations because of my name. Then many will fall away, and they will betray one another and hate one another, and many false prophets will arise and lead many astray, and because of the increase of lawlessness and love of many, the love of many will grow cold but anyone who endures to the end will be saved. And this good news of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the world as a testimony to all the nations, and then the end will come. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, O Christ. The grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. 
For you have redeemed me, Lord God, of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. And the canticle, the Nunc Dimittis. Alleluia, Christ, the light of the world. Alleluia, has manifested his glory. Alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Hallelujah! Christ, the light of the world, has manifested his glory. Alleluia. Let us pray. Lord God, who raised up Wolfston to be a bishop among your people and a leader of your church, help us after his example to live simply, to work diligently, and to make known your kingdom through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. We pray for the nations of the world in this difficult time. For all those who are suffering, especially those who are suffering from COVID, those who are living in fear, and for those who are caring for them. We pray for those who are victims of violence or conflict or natural disaster, and for leaders of nations that they may act with wisdom and righteousness. King of kings and Lord of lords, making the true light to shine, lighten our darkness now and evermore, that with our lips and in our lives we may praise you, for you are our God, now and for ever. Amen. We pray for our homes and our loved ones, where we are, our communities, and we pray for ourselves this night. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And as Jesus taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the waters of Christ cleanse us. May the Spirit of Christ descend upon us. And may the blessing of God be with us this night and always. Amen. God bless you. Good night. <laughs>